Hey there Leos, welcome to my channel Soul Light Hypnotherapy. My name is Kirsten and I have your your July love reading all laid out for you. I'm doing these early because I'm actually becoming a Reiki master in early July and I want to take some time to study for that, uh, make sure I'm prepared. Um, this is a general reading. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you don't hear any messages that resonate with you, please check out your moon sign or rising sign. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, we've got three cards here for both single or couples. Two of Cups, Eight of Swords, and the Two of Swords. Singles, I feel like you're either dealing with someone new, you're in a new relationship, or you are envisioning for a new relationship, somebody that's ideal and compatible with you. You feel like let's 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 talk about the one who's dating someone, right? Or you're meeting someone in July. You're gonna feel like this person is ideal. Very you're gonna be very attracted to this person. You're gonna be very passionate, maybe maybe uh too soon. See reckless behavior here that you might regret. Okay? Um, because I see some disappointments and delays coming up regarding this relationship, but they will actually be blessings in disguise. Um, the person that you're dealing with or the person that you're infatuated with or enamored with or have a really bad crush on or someone has a really bad crush on you, these are like three different scenarios, um, I feel like this person is going to be um, not the prize that you thought that they were going to be. Uh, all that glitters is not gold here. Um, some of you may find out the person you're dealing with already has someone, is already in a relationship, or is married, okay? Or the person that you're dealing with is not all there mentally. He might be mentally ill and have a real strong obsession with you, or uh, an attraction. He can't get over you, won't leave you alone. Because I see you setting up barriers, um around yourself see all these swords are around the bed um, so you're personally limiting your interaction or your communication with this person right after you discover this this news or after you've discerned um, what the situation is all about but you're not making a decision okay um, you're not really telling them how you feel here um, you're not expressing yourself Um, and then I, I hope I'm not confusing people because, you know, there's so many different scenarios when you do general readings. Some of you may have a crush on someone that you think is so cute and so wonderful and so you're so attracted to. Um, you're really into this person, but you're very shy and timid here with this Eight of Swords. And you're not moving towards this person because maybe you're insecure um, and uh, you're not quite sure how to uh, to express yourself, express your feelings to this person. And you're afraid of rejection. So that's another scenario. So that's like four. Um, so I feel like you're putting up this barrier. For any of the scenarios, it's a barrier to protect yourself, okay? Uh, protect yourself from uh, uh, mostly mental or emotional um, harm. But in some cases, when you're dealing with someone who's a little mentally off, uh, you're not sure about this person. Um, it may be physical, physical barrier. You know, you, you're setting up uh, to cut off communication. But I feel like this person was really, you were really attracted to this person, and that's also part of why it's so difficult to let them go. Because I feel like you've been holding a strong vision for love for a while and you felt probably felt like you finally found oh my god I finally found this person and so it's a real bummer I'm sorry to say it's a real bummer this setback that you know is going to happen around in July the relationship that you were hopeful for fails to transpire okay for, in, for some reason uh, you end up holding back um, 
But like I said, this is a blessing in, dis in disguise. Rejection is God's protection, guys. And this person actually wasn't what they uh, seemed to be or what you perceive them to be. Trust that. So I feel like even though you're not making a decision here around the end of the month, you're going to make a decision. You know that you need to make a decision how you're going to... Uh, to handle this relationship and I feel that you're going to um, let it go uh, it's difficult but I think you're gonna let it go and 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 start again your self-esteem will be a little wounded some of you I feel like um, You, you you know, this is a warning, you know, because this hasn't happened yet. It's middle of June right now. You might get a, a intimate too soon, too fast, especially if it's the person is married or already involved. So you end up getting your self-esteem hurt. You end up feeling used and abused and um, emotionally wounded and taken advantage of by this person. I'm warning you now. So uh, if you do haven't met someone yet and you do meet someone, really go slow and get to know that person and do your background checks, okay, to avoid this. Because as an outcome card for, for singles, we got, you got the, um, from the Sibylla in Dovina, you got the trap. I don't know if you can read that here. But... I've had personal experience with this card. This is a no good son of a bitch, okay? This is a scoundrel. And that's who you were dealing with. Um, and when it's reversed, it means that they got away with something. That they, they, they stole something from you without paying for it. You know what I mean? They, got, they took advantage of you. So uh, let's hope that hasn't happened yet and that you've, you've got this warning now to um, be wary of any new suitors coming around and all the glitters is not gold and this is a blessing in disguise um, so that's your reading for, for singles I'll read your oracle card at the end okay let's go to uh, couples now couples same two cards same three cards two of cups eight of swords two of swords um, I feel like uh, the relationship, your relationship, whether you're married or or in a long-term relationship, or you just started a relationship, um, but but you're an official couple. There's good communication between you and your partner. There's a lot of love here. Um, you guys are able to express your express your love openly and sharing a lot of rom romance and intimacy. Maybe um, Maybe there's some sort of uh, special time here that you're sharing um, and time away with one another or with loved ones or uh, 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 I just see you being very romantic and very intimate. And then here we have this Eight of Swords. So something happens that causes you, Leo, and it could be vice versa because it's general reading. I'm going to read it as you, to... Um, to close up, to hold back, to withdraw. I feel that it's um, it's to do with, um, and I've seen this in your readings prior, it has to do with money, okay? I feel it has to do with money. Money, work, uh, issues. Um, there's something that you're hiding from your partner. You're not telling them. Um, there's some sort of restriction on your money or on your work um, or uh, or you want to restrict that from your partner. Maybe your partner's working too much. Or maybe your partner is spending too much of your money. But there's, there's something you want to hold back here. And then some of you may be hiding something from your partner, but it's not a bad thing. You may have made an expensive purchase. Uh, maybe you purchased a gift for them, or um, you're planning something, and, and um, 
there's some sort of transaction that took place and you don't want your partner to know. Whatever it is, even if it's not a gift, that whatever it is you you you're trying to keep uh some sort of purchase or um this is for some of you guys. I'm just giving different scenarios from your partner. And then for some of you, you may be putting up boundaries or withdrawing withdrawing from your partner because you may feel like they're becoming too dependent on you um, financially or that they're spending too much of your money or taking advantage of you by spending spending your money and not acknowledging you or telling you um, or making decisions with you regarding the money in the relationship. You may be questioning their behavior and trying to discern or feel them out you know, um, before you bring it up. You may be fearful or timid about uh, their uh, response when you do bring it up. Because when you bring it up, there's an argument. There's a clash of opinions about something here in the near future. Um a difference of opinion, an inability to agree. Uh, it involves uh, the delivery of some negative news or information that is found out, or maybe a bill comes that exposes this, whatever is hidden here, whatever you're hiding. Okay? Trying to keep it general. Um, and I feel like you guys probably, uh, like for most part, I feel like your relationship is good. But you tend to probably bicker uh, back and forth about the same stuff. Um, there's some sort of control issue with money. Um, and you're, you're uh, again, this is a familiar theme for you guys. Your Oracle, your, your oracle Sibylla card is some money. Now, if you can see this, he's digging in his pockets so he can purchase what's on the table all the goods that are on the table but he finds that his pockets are low and he doesn't have enough to purchase what's on the table so and there's feelings of insecurity because you don't have enough Leo and you want to hold that back from your partner out of fear of how they're going to react when they learn that so um Hmm. You guys need to work on your communication. It's a good relationship, but you seem to be bickering back and forth about the same things. All right, so let me read your oracle cards. Uh, for singles, we've got the Unfinished Symphony from the Colette Baron Reed oracle book. Let me find that page, and I'll read you that message for singles. Um. So we're really reading the relationship message. So moving on is difficult. I need to get a pedicure, a manicure and a pedicure. Uh, moving on is difficult when love lingers. Things are left unsaid. See, so you're not saying something here. And you haven't had the opportunity for closure in your relationship and in your heart. You can still feel bound to a relationship uh, when closure is denied you. Uh, another scenario I'm getting is that um, and then just saying that I, I feel like there's another scenario here some of you may meet someone and you know like I said reckless behavior it becomes fat passionate too soon you're waiting for this person you're waiting for them to contact you and there's no information they're not they're not contacting you they're not coming forward and you're feeling really insecure or scared about that um, and your self-esteem is bruised here as a result um, I feel like there is definitely uh, taking advantage of from uh, an outside uh, force here so so I feel like in this scenario they're not getting closure. And, and I got that from reading this oracle here. Um, not getting closure. 
and then and not being able to let that person go and in this case you're the one who's kind of being obsessed uh leo and uh you're going to have to decide to uh you're going to have to make that decision to let this go and know that um they're not worth your time anyway they're not worth it they were a scoundrel and um at least it happened sooner than later so back to your relationship message uh, you can still feel bound up in a relationship when closure is denied you it's important to achieve this for yourself it's important to achieve closure for yourself that's that two of swords to decide to get closure on your own um, you can do different things to activate that you could write yourself a letter you can make a call um, you can have that conversation you know but you need to decide and you need to do it and take that action to, in order to gain your peace of mind. Um, accept matters as they are and make amends if need be and declare your feelings. Uh, if, even if it's only to yourself. Be clear about what was left unresolved and close the door on the past. So you can set yourself free, and only then will new love blossom for you. I feel that's a very fitting message. I'm sorry that um, the potential, something that had such great potential, turned out to be a bust. But since you're getting this warning early, don't don't give up the punani, guys. Don't give up the punani. All right. So for couples, um, your oracle card is the Between Worlds but it came out reverse so it's a protection message so let me find that page here protection alright so it says be mindful of your expectations this is for a couple of Leos be mindful of your expectations this is not a time for guarantees things will not go exactly as you planned or dictated uh, let go and see what spirit has in store. What takes hold in your life will be much better than you can imagine. So I am um, trying to put that together with this reading. Yeah, I feel like it's saying, you know, don't be afraid to express yourself. You know, there's something that you're hiding or holding back from your partner. Something that, that, that you need to say and that's bothering you. And you're feeling taken advantage of or you're feeling depleted, you know, in some way. And I feel like it's monetary. And for some of you, you might be feeling like your partner is is um, draining you financially um, or being too codependent or, you know, too reliant upon your resources. Um, and you love this person um, and you don't want to argue but this is really bothering you, so you need to find a way to say it. So that's what that Between Worlds is, was, was saying, that um, you express yourself. Um, and, and trust that what comes of it needs to come of it, because you have a right to express yourself. What will be will be, you know? I uh, hope that's not too confrontational, um, but I always feel like I'm trying to give you Leos a, a pep talk. Um, you keep trying to impress this person here. Um, and it shouldn't be what's in your pocket that impresses them. It should be what's in your heart, and you have a lot of love in your heart. So that's your messages, Leo. I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Thanks so much. I will see you in July for your mid-months. And uh, if you'd like a personal reading, my information will be in the description box below. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I, by the time uh, July comes around, I'll be a Reiki master. Um, and hopefully I'll be getting some, my camera in, I'll be getting some good videos up doing some Reiki remote healings. But if you um, find that you have a need for Reiki, please contact me. Or um, any hypnotherapeutic needs, contact me as well. Blessings, my dears. Take care.